everyone. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Debbie, and today on my channel, I'm going to be doing some fried apple hand pies. And they're really good, and they're just like the little Debbie apple pies you might get in a box, something similar to that. And um, so if you're new here on my channel, I do a lot of baking and cooking easy dinners, maybe some crock pot dinners, casseroles. I do baking in a bread machine, um, just all kinds of different stuff, yummy desserts. So scroll down on my channel and check out all my videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, I hope you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so you're notified of all the videos that I upload. And I really, really appreciate if you guys could share my videos. By sharing my videos, more people can subscribe. Our apple hand pies. And I'm sorry for all the background noise. I'm seasoning an iron skillet in my oven, so I have my fan going. Um, my iRobot is vacuuming the house right now. Um, out in the fields, they're baling hay. So I have my windows open so my house doesn't smell up from the seasoning of the iron skillet. So it's a little loud here. I apologize for that. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is I have a, let me see, it's a 21 ounce uh, can of apple pie filling. If you want to make your own homemade apple pie filling, that'd be great. I just bought the ready can and I'm going to dump it into a bowl. I'm going to give these apples, there's a lot in here. I will, I will probably not be using all of this. So I'll probably make what I want, doctor it up a little bit, if you will, and I will probably freeze it then for the next ones I make. There's one more caught in the bottom there. We got it. So let me just, they come pretty big chunks. See that big chunk? That's pretty big. So I'm just going to kind of cut these up a little bit in my bowl. They have just a touch of cinnamon already on them. Let me get out a fork. Clean fork. Just want to make them a, like bite size chunks. You don't want to bite into a ham pie and pull out that great big slice of apple and that's all you have in there and the rest is empty then. Like diced sized tomatoes, kind of like I would do that size. But you do as big chunks as you want. Depending on how big your hand pie is going to be, you could get away with bigger chunks. We're just going to make some smaller ham pies. Okay, to that I'm going to add some ground cinnamon. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to kind of shake some in there. Probably, I would say if I have to guess, maybe a teaspoon. I'm going to shake a little nutmeg in there. A couple shakes of nutmeg. I like more cinnamon than nutmeg. I had to grab some, some sugar and put this on because I need to wipe my hands. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to mine. The can says apples, sugar, water, food starch, citric acid, and cinnamon. But I could tell there was hardly any cinnamon on that at all. It's smelling pretty good. Okay. 
Okay, you wanna do your filling first. Kind of leave it sit. It'll uh, combine all the stuff together really good and like marinating, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, I have a puff pastry sheet. This is a Pepperidge Farms. They come frozen. So you have to thaw them out. Just leave them at room temperature. Um, let me grab a little flour. Just it's it comes pretty well floured, but just in case, I don't want it to stick. I notice this side feels a little sticky. And then you'll unroll it. Yeah, that side was a little sticky. My timer went off uh, for my seasoning pan. I'm seasoning an iron skillet. I think I told you that. <laughs> so we're going to then roll out our puff pastry. Just try to get it as thin as possible. First, I should be preheating my oil. I'm going to fry these. So we're going to turn. Okay, this is the first time I've used this. It's a Presto deep fryer. It comes with, um, you can either use it with this little basket or you can just deep fry right in the tub like and the handle attaches right in there. I think I'll just fry right in there. Has a lid. So we're going to heat that up. Looks like it's heating up pretty good, really fast. So we want to have these ready. Like I said, that's the first time I've ever used that, so I don't know how fast it heats up actually. Okay, I think we're good there. I'm gonna grab a cutter. Got my pizza cutter. I think I'm gonna try to make I am not good with <laughs> you can see like I'm not good with even. And I even looked at these, there's measurements on here. I I still didn't get it right. <laughs> Oh well, they're gonna taste really good. I wanna half it, do six, I probably do. We'll do that. We'll try to get six out of it. I'm just gonna put us a little dollop in the middle there. We're going to fold these over. I had to get some water. Um, before you fold them over, you kind of want to put a little water along the edge. That'll help seal it. Can't even see what I'm doing. And then you take a fork. Like I said, it's the first time I made these. I'm going to try to make them a little bit smaller. And then just crimp them. Make 
and you see what I'm doing? Crimp them with the fork along the edge like that. Hopefully that'll seal in the goodness. So it's not showing it's ready yet. So we're going to do another one. Oops. I might be using all of this. Dip their finger in. Go around the edge with some water. Bring it over. I'm kind of pressing it down around there. And then I'm going to make it look a little prettier, a little more even. Take my fork. I'm sure if you can see what I'm doing. And crimp along the edge. Alrighty, what do we got? Okay, it goes off when it's ready. Let's move that over there. We're going to do another one. Um, you could even make them maybe a, a square. Let's try a square. I'll put that little bit in there. Go around the edge. Whoop. You can do this with uh, just make some regular dough. If you want to use some self-rising flour, a little shortening, a little milk, just make your own dough if you don't have a puff pastry. Turned it towards you so you could see what I was doing. You like to see what I'm doing, don't you? <laughs> I hope you do. And then we're going to make some glaze to put on these. Some simple glaze. Let's see. It's going to be kicking off soon. I just know it. I kind of like that little square. Let's do another one of those. This time I'll fold it towards you. And then you can see what's going on. Gonna clean my sides and end up here, make it a little bit nicer. Again, crimp it with the fork, press it with the tines of the fork. So it kind of seals all the way around and we don't lose any of our good filling. Ooh, and it's off. Okay, I'm excited. Let's fry one. Let's say, I'm going to go ahead and fry one of the big ones first. And I'm going to bring you around here so you can see what's going on. So it's in frying. I'm going to see if I can turn it a little bit, flip it.
I'm going to try doing a small one. They're pretty heavy. And I'm on the 400 mark. I got two in there. I think I won't fry any more than two. We're going to see what that does. I wanted to try frying them. I've actually baked these before. And they turn out wonderful. So if the fry doesn't turn out good, we're not going to fry them. It might be the puff pastry that is the problem. Because I've never used puff pastry. But yeah, I think they should have been done by now. Not sure. We're going to try that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull those out when they're done. And I'm going to let them cool. And then we're going to taste one and then more. Because I, if they taste oil logged, then I will bake them. Because I know they'll turn out wonderful baked. Okay, so I'm going to attempt this one. I'm going to bake it. I'm just going to see what the difference is. So I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven and bake it, and then we'll compare. Okay, while we're waiting on that, we're going to make our glaze. Okay, so we're going to just kind of eyeball maybe. Three quarter cup of powdered sugar. And this is uh, pretty warm water. I heated it up in the microwave a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit of that. Yeah, it's steaming. I'd say it's hot water. Stir that in there. Maybe a little bit more. Just a very simple glaze. See that? And then we'll add a touch of vanilla. Now, since mine is a dark Mexican vanilla, it's gonna tint the icing a little bit. So if you don't want that, don't add it, or if you have clear vanilla extract, which I'm not even sure if clear vanilla is even real, if it's imitation. I think it has to be imitation. Smells delicious. I think that's about the consistency you want. And you can always make more if you need more. That's simple. Powdered sugar and some hot water. So here's what we have that was fried. Okay. So I'm going to take the paper towel off. They're pretty, they, they look pretty flaky actually. And I'm going to drizzle some icing over them. Get a little pretty. I 
kind of like the triangle ones, I think. And there you have a fried apple hand pie. Let's taste it. Okay, I'm going to taste one of the little rectangle ones I made. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Mmm. That's delicious. If I could just get the pastry, the puff pastry to get a little bit uh, crispier, it would be perfection. The taste is perfection. Um, but I would like it to be a little bit crispier. So we're going to bake the one in the oven and I'm going to come back and show you what that one was like. But the taste is, oh my gosh, I love it. I know my husband will love it. You're, you're going to love it. <laughs> and the glaze, such a simple glaze and it has great flavor, adds a little something to it. That's, it's, it's really good. Mm. Mm hmm. Really good. Sorry about that. I had to finish chewing. <laughs> so I want you to try these. And like I said, I'll come back before I let this finish, this video finish, and I'll let you know what the baked one turned out like. But until I step back in with that information, I want you to take care of yourself and each other. And I'll be back to say goodbye then. Okay, look at this one I just pulled out. I went ahead and fried another one. I think my problem was I wasn't, I wasn't patient enough this one I fried longer. So I probably fried this one at least five minutes. The other two I fried maybe two minutes. So the other two don't, they don't taste doughy or anything, but this one definitely, I believe is, uh, it's definitely crisper. So I think my timer just went off from my oven. Let me pull that one out and show it to you. Okay. Here's the one I just pulled out of the oven. It looks very good and crispy. It come out of the little fork indentions a little bit. So it's just according to how you want to do it. Do you want it fried or baked? It's totally up to you. I might not have just pressed these down hard enough. I'm not sure if they would all do that in the oven. I did poke some holes up here, but it's still busted through the sides. So. They're going to all taste delicious, I know. So you decide, baked or fried, they're both delicious. So until next time, keep on cooking. Bye.